How to tether an Apple iPad to a laptop If you find yourself without Wi-Fi access, you may be able to tether your iPad or iPad Mini to your laptop to get on the Internet. To do this, you need an iPad with a cellular service plan and the personal hotspot must be a feature available from your carrier. Once you turn on the iPad's personal hotspot, the iPad acts like any other Wi-Fi access point. Any data you send or receive on the laptop through the iPad is secured using WPA2 encryption. 1. Tap the settings icon on the iPad's home screen. Select General and then tap Cellular. 2. Slide the cellular switch to ON, if it's not on already. Select Personal Hotspot when it appears on the screen. 3. Tap the Personal Hotspot button to turn this option on. The iPad's Wi-Fi password appears on the screen. Tap the password to change it if desired. 4. Click the wireless network icon on the laptop's screen. The icon is in the bottom right corner and looks like a series of vertical bars. 5. Click the iPad's name in the list of available networks and then click Connect. Enter the iPad's Wi-Fi password when prompted. Launch your web browser to connect to the internet using the iPad's cellular service network. Tips 1. If you don't see personal hotspot appear on the screen after turning on the iPad's cellular data option, contact your cellular carrier to see if this feature is available. 2. Once the iPad's personal hotspot is turned on, you can access it directly from the settings main screen. 3. You can also connect the iPad to a laptop using Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi. To do this, turn on Bluetooth on the iPad settings screen, activate Bluetooth on the laptop and then follow the on-screen instructions to pair the iPad to the laptop. The iPad Mini and iPad 3rd generation or later can also share a cellular internet connection with a laptop using a USB cable. Warning! Using your iPad cellular data option may result in additional charges on your cellular service plan. You can monitor data usage by tapping General in Settings, selecting Usage and then Cellular Usage.